Hey guys, Nick from FreeAppleTutorials.com here. Um, today we actually have a quick tutorial on the automatic login process in Mac OS X Lion. Now if you start up your computer, one of two things is actually going to happen. Either A, you're actually going to immediately log into the uh, computer right into your operating system. This is called automatic login. Or B, you're actually going to have to input a password before it will actually let you use the computer. It's really easy to change between these two options and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, what we want to do to actually switch this up is go ahead and click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner of your computer. When you do click on that, it's going to bring a drop down menu up. Um, we are going to click on System Preferences. Under System Preferences, we're going to have a few different tabs. we got Personal, Hardware, Internet and Wireless, System, and Other. We're actually going to be in the System tab today under Users and Groups, so go ahead and click on that. Once you get into users and groups, it's going to show the current user, which is me, and other users, which I don't have any other users on this computer. Um, the option for login is actually going to be login options. So if you click on that, you'll notice it's actually grayed out. Um, to be able to edit this stuff, you're going to click on the lock down here, and it's going to let you input your password for your computer. Once you go ahead and put that in, it's going to let you change these options. If you notice where it says automatic login, it has a drop down menu. Here you can either turn it off or choose one of the users to automatically log in. In this case, I'm going to change it over for the sake of this tutorial to myself. It's going to make me input my password again, which I will do now. And now that I've done that, the next time I restart this computer, it will automatically log into my account. I could also change this right back to off, which d does not require a password for you to do. Now when you do have automatic login off, you have two options. You have A, a list of users, or B, a name and password. I'm going to recommend a list of users for most people. This is going to allow you to display a list of users currently on the computer and input the password for one of them to get in. Name and password does not display any users on the computer. This is more secure, but I see a lot more people forgetting their username and password this way. If you have it on list of users, all you have to do is keep track of your password. After you're done, you can go ahead and click that lock again, hit the X button or red button, and that's it. You're done. You've changed the automatic login options. If you guys have any more questions or anything else, go ahead and head to freeappletutorials.com or keep checking out our YouTube videos. Thank you and have a great day.